Hey everyone, this is the how to rank better within Bing. So I'm gonna take one of my pages I wrote a few weeks ago about can an umpire be ejected? So again, I'm in incognito, I'm using uh, Microsoft Edge. And if you scroll down, this very first listing here is my site. So can MLB umpires be ejected during a baseball game? Um, if you click into it, I just wanna show you how the page is structured a bit. And I'm gonna go over some of the Bing SEO tips. So a couple things. Uh, Bing does put some weight into the URL at the top, similar to Google. Uh, you want to be as specific as you can to a degree. You don't want to make it too long, but enough, again, for users to know if they click on this, what this page will be about. Second thing is the H1 tag. Again, Bing is going to give some good weighted signals for that. Um, and then one of the main things that I'm doing from a Google, Bing, and DuckDuckGo perspective, so if you've watched the search analysis video, you will see what I'm mentioning, but if you go into Bing and you do your search analysis right there, you can see those trending questions that people have. So if you ask those as H2 tags here, um, you can start to get a good sense of what people are searching for within Google and Bing and other search engines too. So if you go back into the search listing right here, like how does an umpire signal an injection? Uh, if you click into this, you can read up of how Wikipedia is sort of answering this question. Um, and you can kind of assume that if yeah, I can answer this question maybe a little bit better on uh, on my site, maybe that'd be a better user experience. The ways that I kind of do that is, you know, how does the umpire signal an injection? I'd talk about it, but then I also have some videos as well that go um, along with the, the content as well. So a user can read and they can understand exactly the motion, um, what the umpires do with their, with their arms, how they signal the player to be ejected, all that kind of stuff. Uh, some other things as well within Bing that I do is I really utilize Bing Webmaster Tools. I'm going to open that uh, right now. So within Bing Webmaster Tools, this is the view of the old profile. Um, but if you go to this new one, so it's going to be in beta still. If it's uh, if you checked out this video in July uh, 2020, this is the new version of Bing Webmaster Tools. Again, it's in uh, beta form. But you can see here, though, that it gives you those keywords that you that you rank for. So can an umpire be ejected? Um, you know, average position one. I don't spend too much time looking at the impressions or clicks because they don't necessarily line up with my Google Analytics traffic. It's just, it's sample data. Same thing with um, uh, Google uh, Search Console. But you can, of course, filter out uh, highest to lowest. You get an idea, you can go to pages. It's not as good as Google uh, Search Console, but it's a good start. Um, so I like to look at this. I'll export out this information maybe on a monthly basis just to put it all into a pivot table to see how things are, you know, progressing. Did certain keywords move up in their rank position? Um, how are the impressions as well? Other things that I do to rank a little bit better within Bing is to utilize the site map. So you want to make sure it has a success rating like this, status success. Um, and what I typically do is on a uh, maybe like on a monthly basis, I'll use Screaming Frog just to crawl my entire XML sitemap just to see if there's any dirt that could be in there. So dirt, for example, could be any 404 errors or 500 errors. So basically, you want to make sure Bing has no issues when they crawl your uh, XML sitemap because they use that kind of as a map to find um, all your content as well. Another thing that I do is the URL submission. So you can see up here, Bing, you can submit up to 10,000 URLs per day. And essentially, though, you can do you can build out an API right here to do it by bulk. Um, my site only has um, just a few hundred uh, HTML pages that I want them to crawl. So on a daily basis, I just click on this box right here. I'm going to change this from 25 to 100 just to kind of show you guys what I do on a daily basis. I flip this around for uh, submitted, then I click resubmit. Effectively, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell Bing to crawl my content again. So I know from a Bing ranking signal, they need to crawl your content a few times to categorize it and to show it up in their search results. So get in the habit of um, taking the URLs, submitting them within Bing Webmaster Tools and force Bing to keep crawling that content on a daily basis. Other things as well is that they do have this backlink report, which I don't think is that critical because if you have um, SEM Rush, it's going to show you some more data anyway, but it's if you're trying to save money on a budget, Bing has this backlinks report. Uh, you could also do keyword research as well within Bing. Uh, again, I'm not as confident in these numbers right here. Again, it's just good suggestions, but if you're trying to find ways to utilize um, what are the keywords that are ranking 
uh, in Bing or what is that search volume that you want to take advantage of, you can use the tool right here. And then finally, they do have an SEO report, which again, if you have SEM Rush, it's going to give a more holistic view of your site and how it uh, how it's structured. But Bing also has an SEO report. Um, my site doesn't really have any major issues. I mean, you can see the severity is low, but some significant issues that could be on the site could be, you know, missing title tags, H1 tags missing, descriptions duplicate, um, maybe alt tags like I have here not defined. Um, there could be some crawl anomalies that are happening within Bing as well. So definitely get in the habit of um, just kind of recap, just so I can uh, explain this one more time. Get in the habit of doing um, the keyword research directly in Bing, uh, writing the content with the questions and answers if you can, optimize the images with the alt tag and save the image the file name as it should be. Um, if you can also uh, potentially embed some videos on your site too, just give a better user experience, then you can utilize Bing Webmaster Tools to crawl the content on a more frequent basis, uh, submit your sitemap, make sure there's no dirt, and that's, that should be a pretty good first step to uh, rank a little bit better within Bing.